Hello beautiful, welcome to part 5 of the High End Sales Coaching video series for Spiritual Women Coaches and Christian Women Coaches. In part 1 we talked about how to be a divine match for the income, impact and influence that you want to make in the world. In part 2 we talked about the fastest way to consciously create that impact and income using high end coaching offers. In part 3 we talked about releasing attachment to income so you can focus on profit and make more money and more impact while working way less time in your business. In part four, we created a simple four-step spiritual high-ticket sales funnel that focuses on your identity and your assignment and making you the funnel, the strategy, and the how. And in part five, we're gonna wrap up with a quick game, okay? This game has three questions. And in the past, what I've seen with my clients and in workshops, it has supported all the women to make a decision, draw a line in the sand, create a line of demarcation today about up-leveling, repackaging, and selling high-end coaching offers. And you know, I use $100,000 my baseline. It doesn't have to be a $100,000 coaching offer. I just use that as the baseline. So let's assume you're gonna play this game with me. Get a piece of pen and paper. You know, get, some, get a pen and a piece of paper. And let's play. So, you are a spiritual woman coach or a Christian woman coach and you want to share your gift to the world. You know, you've decided that you want to really go all in. You want to create a high-end coaching offer for $100,000 or a million dollars or maybe even $10,000 or $20,000. Whatever it is that works for you, whatever is true for you and you know it's the most stretchy, expansive goal that's not a memory foam mattress or a lazy boy recliner because that's ego and comfort does not grow us, it doesn't evolve us. Expansion does. So I want you to think of the number that's going to expand you, where you can go deeper in your service, deeper into your gifts and your work, deeper into the assignment you're here to do in the world. So first question. You've been told you have 90 days left to live, okay? And you're someone who had all these dreams for your business. 90 days you want to raise your prices you want to work with new clients you want to narrow your niche you want to do all these things and we're going to limit this to business I know in, your, in life and relationships there's going to be so many things we want to do with 90 days but let's just assume we're going to do these things in our business what are the top three things that you wished you had done when it comes to high-end sales whether it's increasing your prices creating a new packaging offer for $100,000 or $500,000 or $10,000? Was it gonna be creating a funnel that works for you? Is it getting rid of all the strategies you have to focus on one that's aligned with your energy and who you are being in the world? Like, what is it that you would have done differently if you had more time? Because now you have only 90 days left to live okay look at your business what are three or four or five or ten things that you wish you had done to create your high ticket coaching business your supernatural high-end sales business a business where you work with clients at the most expansive exponential transformational level where you serve deeper than you ever will in your life what would you have done before we go to the next two questions, if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Mimi Dabo. I'm a high-ticket business coach, and I support spiritual women coaches and Christian women coaches in my program, Supernatural and Magnetic, to co-create profitable and simple high-ticket coaching boutiques so they can serve at a deep transformational level, create impact in their work all over the world, and in their own businesses, coach with one high-ticket coaching offer, create multiple six-figure months, and millions of dollars in their business without guilt, condemnation, or any doubt. So question two. Well, before we get to question two, let's pretend it's an actual workshop. Before we get to question two, what did you write down? What are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things that you wished you had more time, more than 90 days to do in your business when it comes to high-end sales, high ticket coaching offers? Okay, so you have your answers, 
have that down or you know what you would have done your biggest regrets whatever whatever it is question two imagine that you don't have 90 days left to live you've just been told you're not gonna die so you thought you had 90 days and you wrote all these things down that you wish you had done and now you go back to the doctor and you find out you're not going to die. Where are we with your high ticket coaching office? Where are we with those dreams that you had before that you wished you had done, but you only had 90 days left so you couldn't do it and now you have the rest of your life to do them? What happens when today is the start of your new life? Who would you work with? How much would you charge? What would your high ticket coaching offer look like? What niche would you work in? Who would you work with? How would you show up in your business as a high ticket, high value coach? How will you market? What platforms will you use? How will you sell? To whom will you sell? How will you talk about your offers? How will you talk about your marketing? How will you express your messaging? And what would you believe to be true about you? You're not gonna die. You don't have 90 days. Today, you're not going to die. What would your new relationship to high-end sales be? See, the thing is, when you were told all you had was 90 days, all those excuses you made before, I can't do this because I feel fat, I can't do this because I feel skinny, I can't do this because I'm not brave enough, I can't do this because I'm not X enough, all those went out of the window, didn't they? All of a sudden, those sounded really, really stupid. They sounded really, really tiny. And it seemed funny that we let those things hold us back. And now, we'll never get the chance to do them. But because of question two, you get that chance. By when will you go do the thing? By when will you create the offer today? By when will you create your first 100,000 coaching offer because just for fun what would it feel like to create something that a high-end client that wants to work with you is willing to invest in what would happen if you went from being on the lazy boy recliner or the memory foam mattress to comfortable stroking your ego and actually pushing yourself into expansion going deeper than you ever have how deep are you willing to go how expansive do you want your life to be so a lot of the answers I get back from women in the workshops when I ask these questions so, you know, I want to go on a cruise, I will spend time with my family, oh my God, I will create that offer today, I will sell it today, I don't care what anybody says about me, I don't care if anybody judges me, because I only have 90 days, what do I care? And then I say, well now, guess what? You're not going to die. What are you going to do? And the thing that comes up for people is, well... I hate to say this, Mimi, I would really love to create the offer now that I know I'm not going to die, but I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to be rejected. Then why do you want disappointment? Why do you want rejection? Because it makes you feel sad. It makes you feel like nobody hears you or sees you or values you. Before we get to question three, I want to talk about the biggest thing that comes up with selling, with high-end sales, with funnels, with high-end coaching offers that actually change lives in the world, it's disappointment. It's the fear of failing because that makes us sad. That's the bottom line thing about it. It makes us sad. I'm going to sidetrack for a minute and talk about sadness and disappointment because this week I buried my best friend and in the last seven days I've been super sad like it hurts but I remember as a coach and as a spiritual woman and as a spiritual coach and as someone who loves Jesus what it means for someone to move to their next level which is the death and I try to ask myself and relate this to my business. 
what is the most beautiful expression of sadness that I can have in this moment? It's the same thing I ask my daughter when she's sad. I say, what is the most beautiful expression of sadness that you can have in this moment? So I, I, I did that with myself. And I've learned to do that in my business. What is the most beautiful expression of rejection that I can have in my business? What would that look like for my next sales call? What would that be like for me? How will I show up if I transmute everything to my life into the most beautiful experience of sadness or joy or, 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 or anger? We can make anything beautiful. If I'm gonna experience it, it better be beautiful. So whether it's sadness, it's anger, it's disappointment, it's rejection, whatever it is, I make it really, really fun for myself. And if I can't make it fun, I, I let it be. I allow myself to have the most beautiful experience of it that I can. So part of this work in supernatural and magnetic is transmuting this rejection, this like, feeling not valuable, feeling not seen, not heart into the most beautiful experience of whatever X is for you, okay? So from that point, let's move to question three. Question three. And this works for you, whether it's a funeral or your high-end business or your, your, your kids, your relationship, whatever it is. If you were not afraid of being told no, if you were not afraid of messing up, and if you were not afraid to be wrong or disappointed, what would you be selling right now and for how much? As we grow and evolve and we transmute all the painful experiences of rejection, vulnerability, whatever it is for us into the most beautiful experience that it can be, then we stop being afraid of disappointment. Because when disappointment comes, we get sad. And then we get sad and angry that we're disappointed. And then we stop. And what happens when we stop? We settle. We pretend that we don't want the thing we wanted before. We pretend, I don't want to make $100,000 a month. I'll just settle for $10,000 a month. All the things I was good, all the good I was going to do with $100,000 a month, I can wait for five more years to do that. So we settle. We stop. We pretend that we don't want to work with high ticket clients anymore. We pretend we don't want to sell the thing for $100,000. Now we're going to sell it for $5,000. We, we, we become the, the dimmest version of ourselves. We forget who we are. Because now we don't think, well, what if I don't get the clients? What if nobody says yes? What if nobody does this? Yeah, that's all disappointment. But we're transmuting that. And we're not afraid to be disappointed because we're not gonna die. If we're disappointed and we get sad, we can make it a beautiful experience. So how do we start to avoid? How do we stop avoiding disappointment? How do we stop avoiding sadness? Because that is the number one barrier to high-end sales for spiritual men coaches and Christian women coaches. Disappointment and sadness are what keep us pretending that we don't want the thing that we want. We forget that it's not about making a million dollars. It's not about making millions of impact in the world. That's great, but it's not, it's not even about that. It's not about anything outside of ourselves. It really is just about the quality the quality of our lives during the experience of creating the offer, of marketing the offer, of selling that high ticket offer, who we become and evolve along in that process, who we are becoming. It is enjoying the space in between the thing. So this works today, it doesn't work tomorrow. Enjoy the 20 seconds in between that. That's where we grow and that's where we stretch. You're not a lazy boy mat, lazy boy recliner. You're not a foam, memory foam mattress. You're not here to be comfortable. 
you here to evolve and grow. So your little offer, the mediocre offer is not going to work for that. For high-end sales, let's wrap this up with what is the highest amount of investment you can charge for your work? So you're excited to go out there and sell it and co-create it so that it stretches you to be who God is calling you to be and so that you actually make the impact you want to make and make the money, the income and the profits that you want so you can travel and do all the things that you wish you could have done when you heard you had only 90 days left to live. Whether it's smelling the rain, dancing in the rain, listening to your cat, playing with your dog, playing with your kids, snuggling on the couch with your husband, whatever it is for you, let this video today support you to mitigate disappointment, transmute sadness. I'm not saying don't feel the emotion, my God. I can tell you, I still have sadness right now, I just buried my friend. And I know he's with me in spirit right now saying, if it was okay to be sad, meaning if it was okay to be disappointed, if it was okay to not know the answer, who will you be for yourself in your business, for your daughter, for yourself, for your clients? Will you make this video? So that's my part. The rest is up to you. There are three ways to work with me before the end of the year. I'm gonna put those down in the links below and you can work with me. We can co-create the business you want. You can learn how to smell the rain. Let me know in the comments how this lands for you. It's been good having you.